realise I am slowly tearing apart the entire structure. Oh, the kid that shot the priest. Fencing school. Yeah, I know. Andromeda looks so bad compared to the rest of it. Mm. Needs local officials. I'll ignore his request, because I don't want to spend four influence on that. Case file. I mean, I think we already know who you are and what you did. Murder. Yeah. The defendant is a young officer, Girard Bontin. Strong evidence suggests that he killed his father, former Archbishop of Paris, Jean-Baptiste Goebel. Yesterday afternoon, in the victim's place of residence, a pistol shot was heard. Neighbours entered Goebel's room immediately and found the young man with a smoking gun in his hand and the victim was lying on the floor with a hole in his chest. They called the guards immediately and the young man refused to put the murder weapon away. Due to the position of the victim, the crime scene was attended by the Commander-in-Chief, Francis Henrot. Yeah, hey, I know Henrot. We haven't worked with him for ages. As later entered the room, he noticed Boutin had finished loading the gun and was ready to shoot again. This time he intended to kill himself. Henry had engaged in negotiations and after almost 20 minutes, he was convinced by the officer to lower his weapon. Guards immediately grabbed and incapacitated the murderer before leading him away to jail. During the short interrogation in his cell, the defendant remained silent. Henriette was present during the attempt to obtain information, which seems strange to me. But he is the commander-in-chief, so he can do as he pleases. Unfortunately, an incident took place after the investigator left one of the guards, returned to the cell, threw himself at the defendant, and kicked him several times, shouting, What do you know about Rosphere? What do you know about the commander? Are they trying to take out my guard? I try to avoid rumours, but one piece of gossip could be crucial for this case. Monsieur Le Judge is probably unaware, like most Parisians, that it is said young Boutin Goebel's illegitimate son... Ah, oh, that young Boutin is Goebel's illegitimate son. Yeah, we knew that. The very same who has been talk of the town lately. If that is true, we are dealing with both a tragedy and a mystery. Why would the son kill his own father? Son of Jean-Baptiste Goebel. So the people of my family want him dead, but the aristocrats and revolutionaries want him to live? Why? I, I never understand the motives of these people. I only get one possible mistake? Really? Please explain the rumours that you being the Archbishop's son. What rumours? Everyone knows the truth by now, anyway. You want me to exaggerate it? Present some dramatic detail to the, so the cattle can have some fun? We're not animals. Why did you not tell the truth when these revelations were disclosed? I swore to my mother that the only reason I needed it. Did you want to take this secret with you to the grave? That would have been best. A family's secrets must not be discussed and mocked by outsiders. You're talking about us again. Will you not defend yourself? I already have. By shooting my father, I defended both my honor and that of my mother. Now I will die with dignity. Fair enough. Understood. What happened exactly? Did you not see the wound in the chest? Rather, what happened before you murdered him? came to my father, who had more important things on his mind than his own bastard. What was the tone of the conversation? It was cold. No, I think it's better to say icy. My father's had a grudge against me. Why? Because I had turned to the others with my problems. That caused him trouble, and he had just started a new chapter in his career. Did the shooting take place? After a short conversation, it was fast to me. He became nothing more than a piece of meat, no different than the enemy at the front. How else would one treat a father that disregards his son with such contempt? So now the jury wants him executed. Cool. He 
Yeah, I want to know about this. Why did the guard assault you? Tell me about the assault. They're trying to interrogate me. I kept silent. Citizen Henrit asked me questions. I still kept silent. Then they all left. A few minutes later, a guard came and introduced himself by punching me in the face and then asked questions, just like the others. What questions? Mainly whether my father had said anything about Robsphere or Henriette. Why about those two? I guess they could tell you more about it than me. What happened next? The other guards came in and took him away. I think it's obvious that Citizen Henriette really wanted to find out if I knew anything. It didn't really answer many questions, but alright. Commander-in-Chief of the National Guard. Summon the witness. Yeah, let's get Henrit out here. My old friend. In case anyone here does not recognize me, my name is Francis Henrit. I am Commander-in-Chief of the National Guard. How did you come to the scene of the crime? Several people came to the situation shouting about a crime in Goebbels' house. As I was nearby, I decided to attend myself. You happen to be nearby? A coincidence. They do happen from time to time. Did you arrive very quickly? I do not know how many minutes had passed, but I was there soon after the guards. What dealings do you have with Citizen Rosphere? Did you send the guard who attacked the defendant? I'm more interested in... I'm interested in both. Rothsphere. None, in fact. We only communicated by letter once. Sent me a congratulations after I was appointed Commander-in-Chief of the National Guard. Nevertheless, your subordinate asked about him while kicking the defendant from all the things he could possibly ask. He was only concerned about the defendant knew about Rothsphere. Cannot explain it. Has he told you anything? I was asking out of curiosity, but he has not. If he has not, then it would seem to me the guard must have been wrong to think Jared Bertine had obtained adverse information. Now I'm worried because I thought he was on my side and I'm starting to think he might turn against me if I go against Rossphere. That's good information for me to know. Yeah, that's all the questions. Why did you keep silent in the cell when the guards asked you questions? Because all of a sudden, many important figures became interested to in me. I was valued to them by Herbert, then later Henry came in with the guards. What's that have to do with anything? <sighs> Each of them asked if my father had told me to do something unusual before my death. Anything that shocked or frightened me. And did he? The revolution is not yet over. You can only promise me, Monsieur Le Judge, that you will take care of my mother. But you said she's dead. Tell me where she is in her homeland. We'll take care of her. Do not say then, as you wish. I mean, why did you reload the weapon? We know he was going to shoot himself. How could you squander your military career so easily? How could I serve my nation while living with the knowledge that I have been disgraced? Are you referring to the rumours? I'm referring to my father, who had not once even hugged his son. I'm referring to my mother, who is dying, waiting for the love of her past. And this is more important to you than the life of the service to your nation? Are you saying, Monsieur Le Judge, something can be more important than one's family? The nation! The guillotine! Oh god damn revolutionaries, they love their guillotine. Perhaps that is why I would rather die than live among you, among people who have created a sick world, and all the more since my family have been used for dirty political games. If I ask that question, they'll want to acquit him. I think I'm going to execute him. Also going to execute him because he knows about me. He knows I spread the rumours and he came to me personally and I don't need him spouting off about me. Common folk love that. My headset is beeping. Put that 
under my beard and that stops the wire getting in my face. Did the defendant confess to the crime? Oh yeah. Was it counter-revolutionary in nature? I don't really think so, but we're gonna say yes. Who reached the crime scene first? Um, a guard patrol, because he said he arrived after the guards. Who pushed the defendant to commit the murder? Victim's apathy towards the defendant. Did the defendant confirm rumours about the victim's paternity? Yes. The only one I'm not sure about is the counter-revolutionary. I don't know if I'll get that one right. He is guilty and will end in the guillotine. He's not worthy of the uniform. Bring him here, I'll sort that bastard out. Oh, the guard patrol didn't arrive first. I thought it did. I thought Henry had said he arrived after the guards. Oh, 4 out of 5. It's still pretty good. One thing I have managed to do this whole game is keep the common folk on my side. They have absolutely loved me. We're, we're just going to skip the speech because the common folk are already happy. We're just going to go straight to the execution. Let me die quickly. I gotta say, he just looks like an elf. That's all I see. The way they drew his ears, he just looks like an elf. Go home. Hey, my family's actually at the table. Influence for my actions at court. They're slightly happier with me. You take my wife shopping again. <laughs> Looks like an elf. I see someone who also dislikes knife ears. Damn right, I can't stand knife ears. I kill them and everything. Except Warcraft. It's the only world where I actually don't mind elves. I think their elves are cool. In most worlds, I always take out the elves. Let's see, my son and father are going to be mad at me, but... I might get my wife up to... Yes! We're actually in the positive for their wife. Are we still wounded? Have we not healed yet? Because we need to do action soon, or we're going to be in trouble. New opportunities. You can see there's another level. 61% through the statue. I don't remember what that statue is of. I don't remember what we're building. It's been so long since I picked it. Yeah, seize the printing house. Oh, they're pretty much ready to riot down there. But we can't get there in time. Well, we'll stop this area causing trouble. Unfortunately, these two are stuck fighting this guy, so I can't get them out of there. So that may go into a riot soon. Actually, a couple of districts are likely to go into a riot. We'll try and avoid it if we can, but we'll put it down if need be. Success. Rosphere supports the clergy? Let us start the rumours that could disturb Rosphere's impeccable reputation. We will use unofficial support of the clergy. Let Herbert paper Le Perry de Chon make a few suggestions that the church brought Rosphere and paid for his support. We want to hear whispers in the street. So we could use force, we'll blackmail a few priests and threaten them with a guillotine to convince them to spread the rumours. David will try to convince local bourgeois to consider an alliance even though they are terrified. Ramel disguised as a priest will spread rumours. I think we'll, fr we'll threaten the priest, we'll, we'll let them know. They'll go to the guillotine if they don't do it. That'll get them talking. Hey people, good to see that some of you made it to the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this content, there should be much more like it on my channel, feel free to subscribe to see some more. Check out some of my links in the description, I stream on Twitch 3, 4 days a week. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, I'll put some links for some other videos on the screen that you can enjoy now. See you all in the next one I hope.